Mayer, Wam near a tunser passes for honest men and bonny lasses. 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 Well, Mark, welcome, uh, well, not to Somerset Park, but to Burns Cottage. I think it's quite interesting that we're here on the day of Rabbi's birth to say hello to someone who's just signed pen to paper for Air United. Welcome to Air United. Um, thanks very much. Obviously, it's a, it's a bit strange it's, we've signed today. It's hopefully it's a, a good sign going forward. Um, obviously, it's great to be here now and, and looking forward to trying to win a league. Um, be a team that I've, I've played against many against many times and I know it's a good club so I'm hoping we'll, I'll fit in well with the boys and, and do well for the for the fans. Now you were with Falkirk, you've just left them club captain is that right uh, for most of this season so far? I have been club captain of a party last season as well, um, had a successful um, three and a half years there with cup finals and uh, finished second so it's been it's been great. Um, but now I've moved on and I've, I've came here because I've got a link to, to the manager, um, Ian McCall, who took me, for, I won a league with, at Falkirk with him and then he moved in for me and, and bought me from Dundee United. Uh, so it's, it's good to be back working with him. I um, had a good time at Dundee United with him as well, so hopefully here it'll be, be su successful as well. Now, I, I believe I was talking to you beforehand there and you had chances to sign for other championship clubs and other clubs as well. Why choose Air United? Um, well, the gaffer phoned me at the start of the transfer window. Um, then I had two or three other things. And I had things weren't uh, finished at Falkirk yet and, and I was just waiting to see how that was going to pan out. But uh, the gaffer was persistent and I felt it was right, the right time to, to come here. And it's part of something... Um, going forward, obviously there's a lot to play for. Um, we are United, try to win the win the league. Um, whereas if I had went and maybe elsewhere, I'd have just been just mid table or, or not really got a focus to to um, get to the end of the season. So here there's a lot to play for, and there's good boys in that dressing room that I know. And obviously previous experience working with the gaffers being successful, so I hope. And that's my main aim is for that to happen again. Now, you're talking about experience. Your experience is vast. Uh, well, I know you from Falkirk, the D United, Aberdeen, but you've got a vast experience and some European experience as well. I have um, obviously played abroad and I've played in the, uh, with Aberdeen and Dundee United in Europe as well. So hopefully, just looking back in my career, it's been successful. I've played a lot of games at every club I've been at. Um, I've not just been there and been on the bench or been a bit part player. I've always been kind of major part of each team that I've been in so I think there's 15 games left and I aim to do the same here I'm not just coming here to, just to get to the end of the season I've, I could have just stayed at Falkirk and, and uh, seen what happened there but I I'm still want to play and, and be successful in the end of my career as well So how long have you actually signed on for air? Yeah, well just about the end of the season um, so it's just a few months uh, and then we'll take it from there obviously if they the team go the way they want to, to like going up promotion. Um, we'll just speak about it then. But it was I was comfortable signing until the end of the season. Uh, and the gaff was the same. Uh, obviously in January, there's obviously different things go on. Players go in, players players go out. So it was e easy just to get the the deal done and and happy to sign that length of contract. How would you describe yourself to the United fans as a player? As a player, I'll, I'll give a hundred percent. I'll be comfortable on the ball. I'll I'll, I'll get the ball about uh, sharp, and I'll give everyone that I've got. Uh, they they obviously they've seen me before and stuff like that, and playing for different teams. But I'm more confident I can I can do a, a good job here. Taking you back a few years though, your first goal for Falkirk and your first time was at Somerset Park, was it? It was a three-all draw with Air. I remember that day. Obviously, Air United had a a right strong team then. They were trying to. I think they're trying to get into the actual Premier League. Um, so they had a lot of experienced players, um, big names at the time. And I, I had just broke into the team the previous season, but that was my, my first goal in the volley um, out there at Somerset. I like the way that you actually remember exactly the type of shot you scored. Uh, are you a goal scorer or are you more a break-up man or what? No, I'm not. I'm not a goal scorer. I'll be uh, trying to control midfield. 
I'll play a lot of passes. I'll I'll keep it simple, but I'll, I'll I play the ball forward a lot to to the forward players. So just try to give them the, the ammunition they need to go forward. And I know there's good good boys in the forward areas here, at, here, and breaking up the play and try and bring that experience when you're when you're leading in games to just do the right thing and keep the keep the boys composed. Have you had a chance to say goodbye to the fans from Falkirk at all? Did you get a chance to do that? Not properly, I've not done it, but I'll, I'll get my chance to do that because I've had a great time there and they're great fans and everybody around the club have, I've got close to. Um, so it's a, a place I, I love being and I'll, I'll go back and I'll get, get a chance to do that. But right now you'll hopefully get to know the their fans in a, a positive light as well. well welcome to United from this Burns Cottage. <laughs> Thank you, cheers. Oh, <laughs>